So, everybody says, if you want to invest in Lego, then keep hold of sealed sets you have, or purposefully go out and buy sealed sets just to not open them for three or four years. Now, the issue with that is, that's boring. I can't think of anything less appealing than buying desirable Lego sets just to not open them. That sounds like torture. <laughs> Plus, it's an expensive exercise to partake in. What I suggest is instead of doing that, just keep hold of minifigures. Lego minifigures also have generally increasing aftermarket value like sets, once they are retired off of shelves. So investing in minifigures to me makes just as much sense as investing in sets. Also, with minifigures, you can buy a set you like, open it, build it, enjoy it, play with or display the minifigures, and in the meantime, those minifigures are going up and up in price. Because minifigures don't need to be sealed to retain their value, where most of the time, that is the case with sets. It's sort of like watch investing. You can buy it, wear it on your wrist and enjoy it, all while its value is going up. So what minifigures would I suggest to keep hold of or go out and buy right now? Well, it wouldn't surprise you that I would recommend Lego Harry Potter theme minifigures, as that theme has a track record of expensive aftermarket Lego products. So in today's video, I'm going to go through five more common Lego Harry Potter minifigures that are still on shelves today in May of 2022, that you can pick up for very cheap or ones you probably have already, so I'm going to miss out on the obvious golden figures and Hogwarts founders for this video. So the first minifigure on this list comes in a $40 or £35 set, and that's Albus Dumbledore. He was exclusive to the Buildable Fork set. Even though this set was released just last year, it is also set to retire this year, meaning this set, and of course minifigure, will have a very short shelf life. The minifigure in question here looks fantastic, with gold shiny printing on his torso and legs. In my opinion, this is the best looking Dumbledore figure that LEGO have ever made. You can pick this minifigure up on Bricklink for £6 or $7 if you don't already have one, and I can see this figure being worth upwards of $15 to $20 in the near future. Next up on this list is actually a 3-in-1, that's the Golden Trio, but not in their golden minifigure form, but in their casual attire as seen in the Hogwarts Wizards chess set from 2021. This set is also due to retire in December of this year, merely a year after its original release. These three minifigures in my opinion look absolutely fantastic, with great detail, especially that Hermione minifigure with her dark green cardigan. The best thing about these minifigures is you can currently pick these up for less than $5 each in new condition on Bricklink. You may even be able to pick up all three of these minifigures combined for $10 or less if you find some good deals, and that's a bargain for these one set exclusive minifigures which will easily fetch over $10 each in my opinion in the near future. I'll get on to the third minifigure on this list in a moment, but first, thanks for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up if you like it, and if you want to make sure you don't miss anything from my channel, hit subscribe. It may not seem like much, but this really does help me keep doing what I do on this channel. At number 3, we have Professor Flitwick from the Charms Class Hogwarts Moments set, released in January 2021. This minifigure is not only unique to this set, but he's the only Philosopher's Stone variant of Professor Flitwick ever made in LEGO, so the demand for this figure is naturally sky high, and will be even more so once the set retires off shelves. This minifigure is currently going for £5 or $6 on Bricklink, so if you haven't already, it might be worth picking up 3 or 4 of this guy, considering there's no way in hell he's still going to be selling for that price in 2 years time. Time. At number 2 we have Professor Sinistra, this minifigure is an unusual one that nobody saw coming, she is exclusive to the 2021 Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set, this minifigure will probably never be made again in LEGO, she is just too obscure of a character who gets virtually no screen time in the films. This minifigure however is very nicely detailed, and for those who are wanting to collect all the Hogwarts teachers, or merely just all the LEGO Hypotrophy minifigures, this is going to 
to be a must have minifigure for their collection. You can pick her up on sites like Bricklink for around £6 in the UK and $6 in the US. And finally for the last minifigure on this list we have Glow in the Dark Nearly Headless Nick. This minifigure is also exclusive to the 2021 Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set and was included as a throwback and a nod to the old Glow in the Dark Lego High Potter minifigures as this Chamber of Secrets set was a tribute 20th anniversary of the Lego High Potter theme. I highly doubt then that any more Glow in the Dark minifigures will be made again for the Lego High Potter theme until possibly 2031 especially a nearly headless Nick one. I think people will be craving to get their hands on this special edition minifigure once it becomes hard to find. Fortunately though, you can pick this minifigure up at the moment for around £8 or $8, which is a really decent price considering the potential aftermarket value on this minifigure in say 5 years time could be through the roof. If you haven't seen my recent video where I build an expansion to the 2022 Hogwarts Clock Tower set then click the video on screen now. A big thank you to Sue Penn, Lucas Hatch, MLD Bricks, Kay Crossley and Brightest Witch Bricks who are all tier 3 members of the channel. I'll catch you tomorrow for another Lego High Potter video. I'll see you there.